Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Brand new release coming at you. 2018 Bowman Chrome Baseball 12-box Hobby Edition. 12-box Hobby Edition. Pick your team number two from jazbeeshobbyland.com. On the 26th, the Wednesday, big thanks, everybody, for getting in. Jeremy Merle, last spot mojo. Scared money don't make money. Gets the Angels. Good luck. And there's everyone else. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Give them this a shot. Let's pop this hobby case open. Let's see what we get. So we have four stacks of four rows of three right here. So one, two, three, four, and then three rows. That makes 12. We'll start, we'll grab the boxes from this side right here, get them on camera. Good luck, everybody. Pick your team two. Looking for one Chrome autograph per box. Per mini box, that is. Two per master box. And then we'll, we'll be looking for the... Uh, I think the Relic Auto is one per case. Something like that. All right. Good luck, everyone. Picks of the day today. Kansas City plus 140. Tampa Bay Rays, plus 150. Braves, plus 142. Dodgers, minus 118. Open A's, minus 110. Those are my picks of the day. Kansas City has already helped me out. Braves have not helped me out today. And uh, the Dodgers game just started. They're, they're just leading by a run. And the Oakland A's game won't be until later. The Rays, what are the Rays doing right now? They are. They still have a narrow 4-3 lead on the Yankees in the top of the eighth. Other final scores: Blue Jays beat the Astros three to one, and I guess they called the game in in uh, Washington early. Washington beat the Miami Marlins nine to three in Washington, and the Red Sox putting putting the hurt, the big hurt, on the Orioles nineteen to three. Royals win six to one over the Reds, and the. Uh, and the Jacob DeGrom, I think, was starting, right? Shuts out the Braves, 3 to nothing. All right, mini box number one. Sheldon Noose out of 250. Purple, that goes to DMAC, Darren, on the board early. We got Clint Frazier right here, purple. That's the 250. That's for the Yankees. That'll be for Jeremy Merle. He's got two big teams in this one. Um, we'll top load all of these uh, after or before they get shipped out, just in the interest of time. We're just going to sleeve them up and move along. Move along. Move along. Nolan Jones to 499. Michael Tran with the tribe. Mike Trout, Bowman Sterling, love those inserts. And on the other side, we got Matthias Dietz. Matthias going to EA and the O's. EA on the board early. That looks like a combination of uh, Angels prospect Matt Tyus, right? Isn't that kind of weird? Matt Tice, I think. Anyway, we might find Matt Tice in here somewhere. There's Bryce Wilson. Bryce with an S. Is that going to be a thing now? Out of 250. And Atomic Jesus Sanchez for the Rays out of 150. So Bryce goes to the Braves, Jeremy Merle, 
Atomic Jesus Sanchez out of 150 goes to the Rays. That'll be for Paul Cool Whit. Connor Siebold out of 655. Purple. And Siebold goes to Scott and the Phillies. All right, so some nice inserts there. All right, next box. That's just off, a little bit off camera. Good luck, everyone. We also have uh, Jumbo or HTA editions of this, too. Those are the ones with only one, uh, one pack, three cards per pack, all autographs. That's a random team edition, and that's broken down into a, a three-box break. And Rich was saying... Just before this break started about 10 minutes ago, Rich was saying that we were down to 10 left in that random team break. I forget how much it costs per spot. 20, 20 something a spot? 21 bucks a spot? 22 bucks a spot in a three box break? Three times three, nine autographs? The relic is right there. So we'll do this side first. We'll save that for the second. There's Charcer Burks for the Cubs. EA with the Cubbies. And there's Yasel Atuna. And Tuna, 136 out of 150. That is for the Nationals. That'll be for EA. There's Bo Burrows for the Tigers out of 655. David Bodie and Odubel Herrera. Rich is saying, I love Bowman. Just looked at that Jordan Alvarez you pulled me. 140 bucks on... E wow. 140 bucks on the Bay. That goes to the Tigers. Yeah, they're, they're, a lot of great stuff in this. There's J.P. Crawford jersey in auto. That's to 150. Nice one for the fight and fills. Scott McNulty with the Phillies. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you may be surprised at how... I know these aren't the biggest names in the hobby yet. Or the ones that, that jump out at you, but you'd be surprised at how well some of these will sell on a secondary market. Mookie Betts to $4.99. Ricky Buffalo with the Red Sox. There's Royce Lewis. Mitch Keller. And Kershaw on the back there. All right, and that third box way on the right side. And Rory's echoing, yeah, certainly a couple $100 plus cards per case. Yeah, definitely worth the chase, ladies and gentlemen. Especially that I would have, I would think that that random team break is perfect for this. All right, some other other games that are still active. The Orioles in the second of a doubleheader are leading the 
Boston Red Sox 6-3 in the top of the eighth. The Brew Crew in the top of the ninth, leading 2-1 over the Cardinals. That's a big game for those two. Cubbies leading the Pirates 6-2. That's another one with playoff implications. And the Rockies currently shutting out the Phillies 7 to nothing. Another game, playoff implications. My Dodgers leading the Arizona Diamondbacks in the desert 2 to nothing so far in the uh, and they're just changing over into the bottom of the second. I think no other games have playoff implications, right? A's, A's are leading 1 nothing. And there's Dalton Varsho speaking of the Diamondbacks, 230 out of 499. That goes to Eric Bailey and the Snakes. Chris Archer, Rays edition, out of 499. And Justice Sheffield. Yeah, that is a great auto, isn't it? And Rory saying, "Hey, any pretty much any name that's under that's number to 50 or less could be a sneaky big big money hit." Kevin my how much so how much is this guy selling for? I know he was a big international prospect name at some point. This is Angels edition. That goes to Jeremy Merle last spot mojo. Number 87 overall prospect. Peter Lambert to 499. There's Chris Archer, still Rays edition on that one. Christian Yelich had five walks today. <laughs> They're just like, no, no way we're going to let Christian Yelich beat us. Does, does Christian Yelich have an outside chance at at MVP, or is that crazy talk? There's Garrett Hampson at a 6.55. Did I just cut myself? How did I do that? I don't know. I did that. Oh, Rory's saying he is the MVP, no doubt. Do we have to take that with a grain of salt, Rory? Because you're a because you're a Brewers fan, or does other, do others agree with this too? I would I don't think I'd be angry at that. I feel like there was a point in the Brewers season maybe a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, where they were kind of not playing good baseball and then they just then they just kind of got into another gear again. And they've been playing excellent baseball. Right. Baez isn't doing much, Rory counters. And then he and then Yelich has Yelich does have two cycles in the last month, right? Hundred plus RBIs, thirty three home runs, three twenty. On a brand new team that could catch the Cubs, get into the playoffs. All this, all the storylines are there. I guess who else would be? Who else would be up there? If I'm looking at, let's look at the NL. Going to Fangraphs.com really quick. Yeah, Yelich actually has by far the best war, if you're into that sort of thing. Wins above replacement over anybody in the NL. 
He is 0.7 ahead of, almost a full point ahead of Anthony Rendon. There's Jaime Berea. Nice one for the Angels. That's another one for Jeremy Merle. Maybe it was maybe it was Lorenzo Cain I was thinking of as a dark horse candidate. 139 out of 250, because he's number three in war at 5.6. There's Harrison Bader for the Cardinals at a 250. That's for the Redbirds. We've got oh, let's sleeve this one up too. Yasnel Antuna out of 499 for the Nationals EA. Maybe we should have another parallel or two here. Aaron Judge, Bowman Sterling. No. In the next mini box. And another Jaime Berea. So an Angels box, a personal box for Jeremy Merle. There's Anderson Espinoza. That's a big name for the Padres. Tanner Hawk. And Tim Beckham in the back. Bumblebee and Tuna. Well, I'm not sure what that means, Rory. So two Bereas. Nice. Rory's, Rory's Brewers are two outs away from October. Oh, I know how I do it. I, I'll clip my thumb right here on the... All right, next one. Oh, is it Ace Ventura reference? I don't remember that. So, Rory, what what is is what is this for? The, the clinching a wild card spot, or oh yeah, no, you guys can clinch the wild card, the top wild card spot with this. I don't think the Rockies could catch up, right? With a win. Just a playoff spot, all right. You guys still have a chance at the division? Oh, you guys still have a chance at the division. There's Tyler Freeman for the tribe. That'll go to Michael and the Indians. Wow, these two these two divisions are gonna come right down to the wire, huh? There's Brian Dozier out of one fifty. Twins edition that goes to Michael G. He's been struggling a little bit since becoming a Dodger. There's Isan Diaz out of 499 going to EA and the Marlins. There's Tulo. Oh, we got I got the Brewers game right here, Rory, on the MLB network. There's another Kevin Maiton, Purple Shimmer. Out of 655. Nice. Peaks of potential. 42 out of 99. Helio Ramos. Nice one for the Giants. Oppo Joe Mojo for Paul Cool Whit. Brewers. This is the last, last strike. Struck him out.
Congrats to Rory, his Brewers, in the postseason. Clinch first postseason appearance since 2011. Is that what that says? It's been a minute or two. Congrats. Out of 499, Josh Bell. Rory, do you have a uh, – did you put anything on the Brewers at the beginning of the season for World Series? Because does anyone want to see the Brewers in the World Series? Oh, yeah, you don't have financial interest. It's fan interest. I don't know if I want to see – I'm looking at their death chart right now. Do I want to see this team in the playoffs? No. So you got you got Christian Yelich out there. You got Ryan Braun out there. You got Arcia, Scope, Travis Shaw in the infield. They got Mustakis at third base. Aguilar, Eric Thames. You know. I don't know your catchers as well for some reason. I don't know your catchers. Um, you know, ha have bolstered the starting rotation with Gio Gonzalez, but their bullpen is especially strong. You want to see that bullpen in the playoffs? No. <laughs> I don't. This could be... Oh, the catchers are nobodies, but... But they can catch, right? Are they like good defensive catchers? But yeah, and they've got some. They got some young guys like Keon Broxton, maybe are still still up there. Maybe make a playoff roster. You got uh, Curtis Grandison is there for maybe some some veteran, some vet like leadership. Could be a sneaky good team. Yeah, there you go. So the catchers are just solid, smart character guys. Yeah, you could. You could make the case that the, the the Brewers could be a sneaky good team in the playoffs. TJ likes to. TJ's glad to see them in. Needs do we do? Yeah, we do. We do need some fresh teams in the playoffs. All right, there's Willie Adams, and there's Carlos Rincon for the Dodgers. <coughs> That'll go to David No and my Dodgers. All right, that's a good point, TJ. TJ's like, hey, did we want to see the Royals a few years ago? You know, maybe General Roy did. Roy didn't. Royals fans did. Brett probably did. Big Rig. Our other Royals fans here probably did. But yeah, I mean, most of the general public probably not, but. Was ex it definitely was exciting when they when they won it all at a 655 Carter Kaiboom. Anyone but the snakes are CJ? Aren't they mathematically out? I think they're only playing spoiler. Oh, you Rory did. They, I guess they did have a, for, a lot of former Brewers. There's Sandy Alcantara out of 499 Refractor Auto for the Marlins. That'll be for EA. There's Christian Yelich, your your NL MVP right here, 34 out of 250. 34, the amount of home runs he'll have before the se regular season is over. So congrats to, congrats to the Brewers. They're in it. In it to possibly win it. There's Mackenzie Gore and Chance Sisko in the back there. All right, six boxes to go, folks. We are about halfway through this 12-box break, making some good time. I'm 
thinking we knock out we, after we're after we're done with this, ladies and gentlemen, we should have about another what three hours left in the broadcast. I feel like we should just knock out random team breaks, three boxes at a time for the rest of the night. What do you think? Kick back, relax, pull some big hits. Random teams, pretty friendly on the wallet. I'm still in the middle of the week, still hump day, so something we can do something a little little easy, a little friendly on the wallet. And then work our way up to the weekend. Or we'll go big with something. And <laughs> the savior Baker Mayfield says, Yellow for MVP. <laughs> what, Rory? What are you talking about? No, this is a pleasure. This is an absolute pleasure. I'm just saying we have random teams available on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We should not ignore the HTA, which is a different version from the hobby version. You know, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm, am I done ripping 144 packs a break? No, this, that's what I live for. I'm built for this, Rory. Built for this. You know, but we we have plenty of time this week to open up Hobby cases, right? <laughs> Gregory Soto for the Tigers. That goes to Derek Dowding. This was not, this is much better than, all I have to do, Rory, is think about the um, the 12 box stadium club break that we did at the National a couple years ago. And then that makes this look a lot easier. <laughs> Brendan Little out of 150 for the Cubs. EA with that one. Nikki Lopez at a 655. Yeah, that was that was painful. I don't know. I, I don't I think that might have taken me longer if you weren't there to help. Uh, Andrew's asking if there's any football tonight. Maybe. We might be able to do that 2017 flawless collegiate football. Nice atomic Ronald Acuna Jr. 131 out of 150 for the Bravos. That goes to Jeremy Merle. And Logan Shore is your second autograph to 150 for the Oakland A's. Darren McKenzie. Yeah, and it still took like two hours, Rory. That's how that's how crazy that stadium club break was. There's Bryce Harper. Out of four ninety nine, is is that it for Bryce Harper as a national? That'll go to EA. Right, Rory. I think we we learned a very important lesson that day. I'm sure we'll have, I'm sure we'll have a football mixer in the next month or two. We 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 like gathering those mixers together, but a lot of times, you know, I think most people know a lot of times the mixers. Unless it's like a like a huge eighty box mixer or something like that that we've been known to do every like couple times a year, um, we don't necessarily plan for mixers. They just kind of happen, <laughs> you know. The, let's say the, especially when there's like let's say there's a lot of so let's say there's like four or five, and this ha happens as we get closer to the end of the year, like four or five products that get released all at once, right? Football products, you know, and then. And then we'll have like boxes like left over. We'll have boxes left over. Like let's say we do a bunch of Prism and then there's like one kind of straggler case of Prism football left. And all these other new releases came out and everyone's over Prism, you know, but we still have some Prism left. And we can kind of bust that case of Prism open and then pull a box out of there and turn those into mixers. Couple them with some higher end products, you know, and that kind of, that's usually where, where the mixers kind of appear. So I'm sure, I'm sure we'll get that going. Yeah, lo we're looking forward to the national in Chicago. Chicago is very, it's a very friendly pr place to uh, to travel in and out of. And the convention center is like right next to the airport. So when we're hauling all of our gear, 
pretty easy. All right, there's some more Otani. And Daniel Gonzalez, I don't think we've seen his auto yet. Ricky Buffalo with the Red Sox. Not numbered, by the way. Nick Senzel out of 250 for the Red Legs. And Ryan Mountcastle out of 655. EA with the O's. There's Chris Torres to 250. Miami Marlins, EA with the Marlins. Oh, TJ saying, you guys going to be at the National next year? Nine-hour drive? That's not bad. And a red Nelson Cruz. Three out of five. Cruz. Who's got Nelson? Cruz got the Mariners. Jess Fox with the Seattle Mariners. The dust cotton here. Jess, out of fives and under, as you may or may not know, means that you are all aboard the Big Hit Express. You're technically on the Big Hit Express already, but it's an opportunity to pull the train whistle. Three out of five. All aboard. Woo -woo. There you go. I think this is our first train whistle out of this Bowman Chrome. Nice. That is strong. And then we've got Isan Diaz out of 99. And that's a green one that goes to the Marlins. That's for EA. Death Soccer's asking anything crazy tonight yet. We're, there's always something crazy. Just like that out of five that just happened there. Uh, Otani, yeah. Got him, got him already. I know. Boring. Just pulling big hits left and right as usual. Ho-hum. Yeah, Otani's over it. Got three of them already. Forget it. Big money, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no, we pulled, we got some nice stuff in, in, in every one of our breaks today. TJ, how far of it is it drive for you to Vegas? Vegas takes me... I don't know. No traffic? There's always traffic. Five or six hours? It's not bad. It's not bad at all. All right, we're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. For the Snakes, Dalton Varsho. I wish it was three hours. No, like, if, just getting out of Santa Monica to downtown could be like 30 or 40 minutes, depending on when I go. That's already an hour right there. 
and then battling through the Inland Empire is another like two hour hour another hour or so, and then it's like three hours. So yeah, so it, it ends up like five six hours for me. From coast, from coast to uh, to Vegas. Oh, that would be kind of cool. Are you TJ? Are you asking me out on a date to the MLB Winter Meetings in Vegas? The the Winter Meetings are in Vegas. There's gonna be some. Uh, there's gonna be some parties there. There's Chase Pinder autograph, Ryan Redman and the Red Birds. And Anthony Rizzo for the Cubs, EA, 44 out of 90. When you lived in Vegas, it took you three to three and a half hours to Santa Monica. John, you never told us that you have a Ferrari. <laughs> Riley Pint out of 655 for the Rockies. I don't think I could do it. In it, it would have to be like if I left at like 2 a.m. If I went from like 2 a.m., I think I could do it in three and a half hours. No traffic. No stops. Like no snacks. <laughs> Just power my power through. I always end up stopping. Maybe that's my problem. I shouldn't stop. I'm always like, oh, let's get some, let's get some alien jerky. Well, TJ, I'm sure, I'm sure, if you offered, I can make that work. I can't pass up that kind of opportunity. I could crash at my sister's place near the Orleans. I do have a tie. My friends have been getting married the last few years, TJ. I've, I've had to had a res had to get like some respectable outfits on, so I, I do have a suit. I can wear a tie. I know how to tie a tie. I go, I go four in hand for my knot. Some guys like the like the Windsor. Some guys like the half Windsor. And so you and Scott are going to be in Vegas, Paul, when? In early December? Could that be an impromptu Jaspi meetup? If it's early December. TD, heading to LA tomorrow. I'm here from 3 o'clock to 11 o'clock Pacific, if you want to visit. There's uh, Enyel De Los Santos for the Phillies. I had to get that right. Phillies, Scott McNulty, speaking of Scott and Paul. Uh, you like the bourbon jerky? I like something a little, uh, a little bit spicy. Maybe like a like cracked pepper or something like that. Oh, the National. I thought you meant. I thought you meant Vegas. You guys can come to Vegas too. Out of ninety nine, Dominic Smith. There's Kyle Lewis out of four ninety nine. Yeah, that's a little ways away, but. I know that after after missing the most recent one, we definitely want to make the next one. Daz Cameron to 50. Next autograph is for the Orioles. Gold. 37 out of 50. That card is gold, EA. Mike Bowman. Bowman, just like this break, 2018 Bowman Chrome Baseball, pick your team number two, hobby edition. Mike Bowman and Bowman. What a hit. There's Dustin Fowler to 499, 216 out of 499. And maybe another low numbered parallel. There's a Keston Hiura, Sterling insert. And two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Four autographs left. Wow. 
So I haven't seen this guy or this guy. Come on, guys. So you don't want to see both of those guys. We should have a Jaspi meetup in Vegas someday. That'd be a good spot. Jaspi Fest 2020. It'd be in like a like a, there would be like twenty people in a circus circus ballroom, meeting room, <laughs> dining hall. And hey, you got you got to start somewhere. We should, we should just rent a steam train. That's what we should do. Rent a steam train. Do some whistle whistle stop tours. We used to do a lot of that back in the day. You hold press conferences at the at the caboose. People do that all the time. Daniel Gonzalez, atomic autograph for the Red Sox. People said it all the time in the 1920s. I right, think the, the 30s. 85 out of 100. Out of 400. Then the interstates came in. Ruined everything. Damn interstates. All right, one more autograph on this side, and then our last box. Riley Adams is your Blue Jays autograph for EA and the Blue Jays. Oh, TJ's down with the circus circus. You killed on the crap tables there? The uh, the um, Hooters Casino is where I've had my success. 145 out of 150, Chance Cisco. I don't have like Bellagio money to, to gamble. Anderson Espinosa out of 499. That's for the Friars. Any other parallels or numbered parallels? Yes, Nate Person at a 655 for EA and the Blue Jays. There you go. Final box coming up. Don't they have a little, uh, like, little uh, amusement park in the middle of that? Like roller coasters and stuff like that. And the games where you, like, you shoot a water gun into a target and the horse moves along. One of those games. The meetings are the MGM this year. Oh, that's nice. MGM is nice. It's a solid one. All right, final box, final two autographs. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for joining this one. I see a few orders coming in. We still have, by the time this is all said and done, we'll have a few more hours left in the show. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm sure we'll do a random team break after this, right? And we would still have time to squeeze in another pick your team break if you'd like. So all that is on the website. Check it out, jaspyshobbyland.com. Isn't it like, yeah, TJ's like need some place to house 4,000 people for the week. Isn't it like not fun for like the executives? They're just like barricaded in a, in a, in like a hotel suite and they're just kind of sitting there just taking phone calls and trying to do deals with agents, having people visit them. They never leave.
All right, there's Travis Lakins for the Red Sox. Ricky Buffalo with the Red Sox. Ricky, you finished strong. Last couple boxes had some, had a few Bo Soxes in there. Starlin Castro, purple. Out of 250. Connor Siebold out of 499 for the Phillies. Shohei Otani. Victor Robles. Where's the second auto? There it is. It's a cubby. Oramis Aidman. That'll be for EA and the Cubbies. A lot more success in these Bowman Chrome breaks, Eric. All right. A's gets the Sheldon Noose. Green Shimmer, Dalton Varsho to 99 for the Snakes. Sandy Alcantara, Jack Flaherty, and J.D. Martinez in the back. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for sticking with us. That was nice. 46 minutes? That's solid. 2018 Bowman Chrome Baseball, Pick Your Team Number 2, Hobby Edition from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check out the website for more. And three-box random teams, HTA Edition. Those are the ones with only one pack, three autos per box. A lot of nice stuff in there as well. So check it out on the website, and we'll see you next time. jazbeeshobbyland.com.